Back now with a story that's all new tonight. A trip to the hospital comes with all sorts of complications. Even more complicated, the bill that comes after. We heard from a lot of you about this, so here's how we decided to approach this story. We had 13 News Now investigative reporter Evan Watson create a simulated hospital visit. Then he asked local hospitals to provide an itemized bill. After months of back and forth talks, this is what he found out. Confused or skeptical about what you pay for at the hospital, you are not alone. Is it difficult to understand hospital billing? It is extremely difficult to understand hospital billing, even for people who participate in the healthcare process. To try and better understand the system, we sent a request for a sample itemized bill for a childbirth to Sentara Healthcare and spokesman Dale Godding. This is a typical uh, stay in the hospital for a non-complicated uh, vaginal delivery. Uh, having a baby in the hospital without any complications at all. Two days, one overnight stay, a bill for labor and delivery, including common services, drugs, and postpartum supplies with no complications. The total cost, $16,633. Room and board costs more than $1,400 a night, and nursery time costs more than $3,000 for two days. Gotting is quick to point out that no one will pay this full amount themselves. If you're uninsured, there are significant discounts available. And if you have health insurance, you'll have a maximum out-of-pocket cost, the most you'll pay regardless of the size of the bill. A number of specialties are going to come into play. Costs are going to rise. And so it's really hard to say. It, it's not like buying a box of cereal. Going to the hospital is a complicated affair, even for a seemingly routine procedure. All insurance companies are required by law to provide cost calculators on their websites. Hospital systems like Sentara say high prices on bills without insurance adjustments can scare consumers, so they choose to not post sample bills online. I think that putting a sample bill like this on the website is tantamount to saying this is what it's going to cost you. And it's way more complicated than that. We didn't just ask Sentara for information. Chesapeake Regional Healthcare said it would be impossible to provide a sample itemized bill because there are, quote, too many variables. After some digging, we found an itemized bill for an uncomplicated childbirth on their website, showing it would cost about $22,000. We followed up and asked Chesapeake Regional to break down some of those costs. A spokeswoman responded and said they are correcting inconsistencies and asked us to disregard the data that is still available on the hospital's website. The Bon Secours Health System declined to provide any information, saying it would oversimplify the complex nature of hospital billing. Starting this year, hospitals are now required to post their charge masters. But the extensive Excel spreadsheets with thousands of prices for each hospital service are far from consumer friendly. Is it effective? Is it helping posting that information online? I think we would say there is no benefit to consumers to looking at the charge master. We think that it adds to the confusion about healthcare costs. How can we find a system that has that transparency of posting the cost that doesn't add to the confusion? Where Where's the middle ground in between those two? I don't know where it is, and I don't think anybody in the business knows where it is right now. Godding says proposals to put ultimate consumer pricing on hospital websites would be too difficult and involve far too many health plan designs. That's just an avalanche of information that most people would find very difficult to navigate. How could we simplify all this? I don't know. We work in a very, con we didn't invent the system that we work in but we have to function within it. And until something better comes along, this is, this is what we're stuck with. Godding's takeaway is this. Find the cost calculator on your health insurance plan's website to estimate your bill and find the maximum that you would pay. And if you're uninsured, investigate the hospital's assistant plans before you might need them. 413 News Now, Evan Watson reporting.